I'm from here. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. Um, I'm coming to you from Pescadero. So Sunday before Thanksgiving, Bruce and I took a drive heading down to our favorite spots down in Davenport. And we pulled off on the side of the road because I wanted to shoot a video for you guys. So happy Thanksgiving weekend. Um, look forward to seeing you on the other side. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. Um, and uh, let's get started. Top of the mat. All right, toes pointing forward, arriving in mountain pose, building that from the ground up, feel the nice firm foundation of the legs, lift up the chest, extension through the crown, and reach those fingers towards the earth. Come a little bit more into the back body, about 60% of the weight on the heel, the rest of the 40 spreads evenly down through the front of the feet. On the breath in, sweep the arms up, lift the chin, look up. On the breath out, forward fold, lengthen down. Inhale, half lift, extension. Exhale, bend the knees, fold. And then sweep the arms, low hover chair. Nice extension. From low hover chair, just lift the torso, the torso rising. And then add the legs all the way up, little back bend at the top. Exhale, come on down, and let's do that again. Inhale, half. Nice. Exhale, full. Knees bent, arms sweep forward. Nice and low, hovering ribs over thighs, and then lifting up the chest, pulling front ribs in, pressing through the feet, inhale, build up, hips forward, little back bend at the top, and then exhale, come on down. Inhale, half, adding on here, exhale, plant those hands, step back with the right leg. Leave the right hand down, inhale, open up, twist to the left. Exhale, left hand comes, frames front foot, and rock that front leg straight. Nice. Shifting back into bent knee. Plant those hands. It's plank. Front plank. Exhale yourself into down dog. So let's think of these here as our cat cow. Inhale onto the toes, round forward, open the chest, and then bend the knees. Sweep the hips up and back. Inhale up onto the toes, rounding forward, lengthen out at the top, and then bend the knees, rock the hips back and up. One more, inhale. Pretty appropriate, I'm doing the waves at the beach, right? Exhale, take it back. Nice, right leg rises, three-legged dog, and then tuck it in, step it, foot between the hands, right? Pausing here, same as the other side, left. Inhale, open right, twisting. Exhale, hand come down and rock the front leg straight. Beautiful. Bend the front leg, step it back, down dog. Inhale, round that forward. Nice. And then this time as you open up, little chaturanga. Press the arm straight, plank, and take it back to down dog. Let's go again. Inhale, rounding forward. Open that chest. Send it beyond the elbows. Chaturanga. Up. And then take it back. One more just like that. Inhale. Coming forward. Open heart. Broad collarbones. Chaturanga. Press it. And then deliver it back to down dog. Inhale. Left leg rises. Three-legged dog here. Exhale, tuck it in, step it, foot between the hands. Nice. Join it with the right. Two feet at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up, lift up. And exhale, hands pass through heart. Coming to chair from the top this time, right into that taller chair. And then let's rotate this over to the right. Left elbow left hand, whatever you got, coming towards that right side. All right, opening up. Nice expansion through the chest. And then gazing down at the feet. You're doing a little flamingo. Let's see how this works in my sand balance here. Pick up the left foot and then step it back. Nice. You're coming up into a twisted crescent. So just lift the chest and then open the arms. Taking this a little further, rotate front left palm up. Bring that right hand towards the back, either the hips or that left back thigh, coming into exalted. Nice. And then you're totally positioned to come right on down. 
and return to that low twisted runners. Beautiful. Plant two hands. Again, rock it straight. Pyramid. And then this time we're stepping in to a little warrior three. So coming forward into the right foot, lift the left, lift the chest. And if you're finding that balance, float the hands. Airplane arms are suiting me well, but feel free to choose any other variation. Beautiful. From here, two feet to the top of the mat. Swing through Ukatasana and all the way up to a standing back bend. Exhale, hands past through heart. Same other side, Ukatasana chair. Exhale, rotate left. Taking this pause, right? Feeling that stretch across from the throat out to the shoulders. And then gazing down, finding that balance, float the right leg, heel to bum, and then step it back. Lift the chest, and then open the arms, twisted, standing crescent. Bring that left hand behind, front, that front right arm back behind you, exalted crescent. Beautiful, and then coming back around two hands down. Frame uh, the front foot as you rock it straight, and then you're stepping right into it, moving forward, lift the chest, similar to that sensation of cobra. And then once you get up there, you can refine it, pull the front ribs in, and try to flatten that out a bit. Beautiful. Bring that right foot to the top, two feet land, chair, sweep up, and then open the heart again, little standing back foot. Exhale, hands pass through. Ukitasana once again. Exhale, rotate to the right. We're going to build this out a little bit. So coming back to the right, gazing back at the feet. Step back as you did with the left. Inhale, lift the chest. Open the arms right where we left off. Exalted. Nice. This time as we're coming forward, we're in revolved trikonasana or revolved pyramid, depending on what you'd like to do with that back leg. So the front leg's going to straighten out. Left hand's going to come down, right? So the difference is, is if I leave my back heel up or you choose to spiral that back heel down. Nice. And then sweep into little twisted runners, okay? And then we're going to take those twisted runners, rotate the right foot, little kickstand side plank. Or picking it up, hovering it, and bringing it all the way back to left side plank. Right, lift and up. And then exhale. we got to move it to the top. Right knee into the chest. Foot to the top. Land it. Back heel down. All the way up and over. Warrior two. Rock back. Skandasana. Back left leg bends. Right front leg is straight. And you've pivoted yourself really well. Back of the mat, two hands down, vinyasa. You ready for that up dog? Here it is. Open the heart. Exhale back. Down dog. Beautiful. Walk your hands towards the back of the, or which would be the top of the mat, but towards those feet, coming into a nice, deep, forward fold. Take your time. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, opposite elbows, a little pull towards the earth. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep all the way up. And right foot crosses over the top, pivot back at the top of the mat. Okay, here we go. Other side. Ukatasana chair. Exhale, rotate left. Right, rotating left. Nice. Gazing, finding that center balance. Right foot picks up, stepping back. Inhale, lifting up, twisted, crescent. The arms lengthen up. And then the front leg draws straight. Right arm comes down, twisted pyramid. Nice. Rebend the front knee, twisted runner. And then this is going to take us through that side plank variation. So the right hand's planted. Begin by rocking to back, baby foot, toe side. And turn that left toes out. And then consider loading the leg or and or bringing it back. Beautiful. Now we got to get back to the top. Lift it. Knee into chest. 
foot down. Rotate all the way over that back side. Warrior two rising. Rock back, Skandasana. The right leg bends this time. Left leg is straight. Pivot once again. That back end of the mat. Step it back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. And then down dog. All right, nice and steady again. Walk the hands back to the feet. Keep lifting the tail tall, bringing that heart closer to the earth, working your way into the depth of the fold as the hands eventually find the feet. Nice. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, pause here. Float the arms out in front as we did earlier in that hover chair. But let's use this to open up the shoulders. So bring the hands behind. If they're available, interlace, chin to the chest, arms up and over. Right. Lift and squeeze the shoulder blades to come over. Maybe those ribs are pressing the legs straight. Scoop the belly in. Bring a little more weight onto your toes. And then really firm the thighs to lift the hips. Nice. Bend the knees, sweep your way back through chair, and then inhale all the way up. Let's take the left foot in front of the right this time and work that little pivot around top of the mat. Awesome. All right, back into it. Chair. Twist to the right. Gay center. Left foot rises. Pick it up. Step it back. Open the chest. Open the arms. Exalted. Front leg straightens. Pyramid. Rebend it. Runners. Pivoting. Side plank option. Big toe grab this time. Right hand grabs right big toe. And hold here. Knee into chest, foot to the top. Warrior two. Back up and through. Skandasana back leg. Pivot that back end. Vinyasa. Down. Open. And over. From our dog. Right leg rises. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Flip. Pop up the chest. And then, again, top of the mat. Pull the knee in. Step it. You're coming around. Straddle. Inhale, working those pivots all the way up, straddle. Nice. Exhale, top of the mat. Step to join. Right foot lifts. Place it. Knees bend, chair. Twist it left. Gay center. Pick up that right foot. Step it back. Torso lifts. Open it up, twist it, press it. Flip the arms, exalt it. Straighten the front leg, coming forward, revolve triangle, knee bend, sweep it, revolve runners, and then again, we're making that transition to the side plank of your choice. I'm going a little further this time with that big toe grab lifting up, right, but you got all sorts of options there. And then again, we're going to pick it up, pull it in, foot down. Warrior two, up and over. Rock it back, Skandasana. Right leg bends. Thinking about getting low. Pivot to that back end. Two hands down. Vinyasa of your choice. Open up. Exhale over toes. Left leg's going up. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Flip here. Up and over. And then here we go. Back up and through, knees in, watch that sand off the foot, and we're landing it. Top of the mat. Nice. Pivoting to straddle, exhale, forward fold, coming down. Taking it back to the top, rebend the front leg, step that left in to join, two feet top of the mat. Inhale it. Exhale it full. Inhale it, sweep up. And exhale, bow back down. One more round. Breathe it in. Exhale, breathe it out. Little different this time, okay? Step, walk, or float. Plank. Chaturanga. 
up dog, down dog, right leg rising, bend the knee, open the hip, lift if that's within you, coming around, right knee to left elbow in your plank, right knee to left elbow in your plank, bring it back to the right elbow, take it back to the left, and then side plank here, right foot kicks out to the left. Nice. Sweep it through. Three-legged dog. Stepping forward, top of the mat. Warrior two. Rock it back. Skandasana left. Pivot around. Step it back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up to down. Left leg's going up. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Continue and or to flip. As we come around, remember, this left knee, opposite elbow. Coming around, pull it in. Right elbow. Left elbow. Right elbow. Left elbow. Nice. Extend it up. And then step it through. Warrior two. Skandasana, coming back. Pivoting. Two hands down, plank pose, two hips up, walk your hands back to your feet, inhale, half lift, bend the knees really generously, send the hips back, we're going to come into Padahasasana or Padabhusasana, so we're going to work this forward fold either with a big toe grab or hands underneath the feet. So working this nice deep sandwich, lengthen the torso forward, drop the head, and then you choose big toes or palms. Palms are up, back of the hand is down, right? And then it's just this conversation, right, of using the feet, turning on the spinal muscles, extend the spine. Think about bringing the chest beyond the knees and then releasing the head, maybe those legs just straighten out, hinging at the knee. Right, so the hip hinge is already there, whether the legs are bent or straight. And then take your time, lift it up, standing up. Inhale, arms wide. Reach up, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart. As you've done, bend the knees, chair. Hover chair. Hands down, walk them to the top, and then arrive on your shift. So shifting forward, knees down. Inhale. Lift up. Awesome. I'm playing with camel. I love to play with camel. We're in the sand, so it seems only appropriate. So here we go. I'm going to tuck the right toe under, and I'm going to do um, a single, single, and then we'll put them both together for a double. Okay? So that means one side at a time. Blocks work great. Toes lifting up will give you a couple extra inches. You can always drop it afterwards. All right. Thighs are strong. Hips are moving softly forward. You're going to look over that right shoulder. Roll the um, arm open, right? External rotation. And think about finding the inside of the ankle or the heel. And then that left arm, begin to shift the gaze now back center. And then take that left arm off. Nice. Inhale. Try to lengthen out straight, releasing the hand off. Awesome. Well done. Same, same other side. Okay, tuck toe, looking back over. We've got this little bit of open twist that we were working on. Inter uh, external rotation, so coming to the inside. And then come back to center if you can, and then up and over, right? And then if you're unsure, like you thought maybe you could go deep, it's a nice way to test, is then can you set the top of the foot down and still stay with it? Right, can you set through? Top of the ankle and still be with it. And then inhale. Again, center yourself out. Come on out. 
After those two, let's just take a neutral seat. All right, so you have an idea. We're going to go for both, okay? And as we do this, we're first going to come into it from the base here, lifting up, and then coming back through. So we're going to think of this as a really pretty big cat cow in a sense, okay? Because we're going to do a back bend, and we're going to come down, and we're going to let those hips go with us. So it's going to be a bit like this, lifting up into the back bend, right, the camel, and then exhale, moving forward to come back down. You can add as much rounding as you want. The only difference is we're going to see if we can keep those hands attached throughout, okay? So let's start, toes tucked under. Let's start, hands on blocks or hands on heels or hands on ankles, okay? Inhale, puff it up, move forward. Exhale, chin to the chest, pull it in, move down. Inhale, rise from the base. Inhale, push the hips forward, open the heart. Exhale, chin to the chest, pull the ribs in, move down. One more. Inhale. Open it up. This one, we're going to stay for a few. We have all this opportunity to change the arms, right? To change the feet. To work with your breath. Maybe the hands come to the heart. Holding. And then when you're ready, come on out. And then just a seat. Just a seat. Sit with what is. No need to rush into the fold. I promise we'll get there. If you can sit with what the pose brought, instead of immediately trying to etch a sketch and remove it away. Send your breath into any areas that are talking to you. Breathing into the space. And exhale, inviting a bit of relaxation, a bit of ease. Take the left arm up, gentle, gentle side bend. Think of it more of a lengthening of the left side than necessarily bending to the right. Maybe turning the head towards the arm. And then chin towards chest, rotate and drop the head, the chin towards the right hand, right shoulder. Nice, release. Okay. Same on the right. And we're lifting up, not coming into a big side bend, just a little push away on the left, just enough to feel a little bit more length on the right side. And then we played with a little neck rotation, maybe turning towards the arm. And then little chin roll down, dropping into the other side and dropping the head. And then release. Open up the knees. Now shift forward, hinging at the hips, bringing yourself into a little child's pose. Walking those arms out or stacking hand over hand, forehead, third eye center can come to meet as well. Exhale, soften out the mouth. Nice. Come up onto hands and knees with eyes closed. And come into any organic movement, right? Maybe it's a cat cow. Maybe it's a roll of the neck or a wiggle of the hips or a side bend here or there. Just with your eyes closed, tune in to what your body needs right now. You're preparing to come into Shavasana. So any little extra to feel nice and settled. We'll cross the ankles, roll over those feet, bring them out to the front. 
and take a nice recline onto the back. Eyes closed, dropping in. Or if you happen to be like me in this beautiful California weather, you can go for a little cloud gazing. Maybe you've got some trees above you. Lose yourself in the color, the shape, the patterning of the leaves. Whatever it is that can absorb your attention. and offer the opportunity for full relaxation of your physical body. And the breath is soft, enjoying the rise and fall of the belly. Anchoring your attention on that breath on your gaze, on your sounds, whatever it is you choose today. You're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I encourage you to do. When you are ready to wake, do so gently. Finding an ease of a tuck of the knees in. An ease a rock maybe side to side until you make your way upright. I thank you so much for joining me today. With any luck, this sound picked up and recorded. Um, May you enjoy practice. May you enjoy your day. May you enjoy your life. Be well, eat well, sleep well, and take care of those around you. Namaste.